Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Folklore. In the last part, we ventured around the Endless Corridor in search of that one clock-faced whatever guy. And we had all sorts of mishaps and adventures. Not really, we killed a bunch of things, as usual in this game. So, we're gonna head back out and try to track back down Mr. Clockface. There he goes. Bye, Mr. Clockface. Alright, so let's kill these guys. I'm still working on uh, releasing his karma, so we're going to kill these more than I'm going to keep them alive. Ah! Getting hit by things all over the place. It's crazy. Alright, so I have 6 out of 15 killed with this, uh, with Brola Chan so far. So that was 8. And this will be 9. I'll be ten. Yay for ten. I'm wondering if I, I, I remember switching to these, but if I can't remember if I ever checked to see if poke really was worse. I think it is though. I mean, you would expect the like he's the first folk that you ever get so you'd expect him to get replaced eventually and actually expect him to get replaced sooner than now but yeah he's just a good all-arounder until we kill off all these and this room alone is probably gonna give me enough I don't know yeah by far And there it is. Sweet. Let's see what his final release is. Uh, that's the guy we're looking for. Hava Trot. Brolachan. Defeat five Thrumpin with Brolachan. That's actually a pretty easy final one. Huh. Alright, so he has very low MP consumption. And yeah, see, he's better. Sweet. Oh, wow. Ah, so right, here's our first victim. Die thumping. Mm, dead. Alright, now we can absorb the rest of these guys. And get that lovely XP. Speaking of which, uh. I'm, I forget where we can check our XP. There it is. So we're about to rank to 8. Which, uh, the ranks, of course, really don't mean that much, other than health and stuff. I think, yeah, it gives you more, uh, MC as well. So, uh, overall, I guess, helpful, yeah. Let's get some health out of here, and continue chasing down Hoppatrot. But get back here, you clockman! Huh, we're back here again. So last time, it was not the water. It was this one, right? Oh. Ah! Stun him. Actually, let's sticky him. Since they're not immune to sticky. No! Get away! There we go. Boom. And they're invincible when they go into that stage, if you couldn't tell. I know, kind of speaking the obvious there. Get stuck. Alright, that one. That one has a cold tree in it. This one has more of these. Ah! Has a loot egg. Get hit, Ludeg. That one blew him off, huh? You can't defeat your Brolachan, which is just a smaller version than you of you. All right, so he's pretty much got screwed right there. And so I guess it was the water one, huh? Didn't want to believe it. 
and whatever this is supposed to actually do. I think it I guess it rearranges the corridors. All I know is it spawns Mr. Hobbitrod again. Oh. And he ran this way again. I'm just gonna go ahead and run like this so I can quickly do this. Oh, we're back here again. Uh, oh, I see. It's like rearranging this room. Nice. And I'm guessing each it's random each time, I'm assuming. Oh, maybe it's not. I honestly can't remember. This didn't open anything, right? No, it did not. So let's leave the room from whence we came. Oh. Alright, so we gotta defeat some of these Thrumpin with Brolachan in order to unlock his final boost, and then we can absorb everybody. Like, good, good soul stealers. Although, if you look at the uh, descriptions of all the folks, they're basically all out to kill people. So I'm kind of doing the. Uh, I'm kind of doing everybody a favor. Even though some. I guess some of them were good. I'm gonna get spoiled. One bad apple leads to a spoiled bunch. Right, come on, this should be the last one. Unlock. Yeah. Now absorb everybody. Take that, bitches. Set up. Electrical force field. Some nice experience here. And then hopefully we can find out what the frick is up with that clock guy. He just keeps running to the same place. It's not fair. Oh no! Well, that's one way to get the entire room to respawn. In case you wanted that to happen. And... We know which one's the spinny room now? Oh, look, now the gate here is open. Oh wait, that is the same gate that's been open every time. Darn. Alright, something's up with this, I believe. I must be doing something wrong. It wasn't this one this time. Hmm. This is interesting. At least we had something different happen this time. I'm gonna go ahead and do this as well. Maybe we're supposed to destroy everything in the room. I don't know. Can't remember if or not. Ah! Ludeg, you dummy. Although I guess I could switch to releasing... Oh, wow. That's an odd thing to see right in your face in the morning. Alright, Mr. Invincible. Yeah, I guess I could switch uh, Loot Egg on here. Oh, wow. He just got owned. Uh, the reason I'm switching him on here is because his one of his karma release... Ow is to defeat Brolachan with him, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. If I don't die, which it seems very likely that I'm going to be dying. Just kidding, I'm still alive. Alright, he's alive.
spawned more of the answerers. No, run away. So I'm just gonna say that this is he this is a trick and not to really go this way. And instead Let's go this way. Oh wait. Did you see the blue marker on the screen? That makes me think he went this way. Wow, that's cheeky. Alright, so... This, I guess, is a mini-boss. Disappeared he goes. And reappears he is. Oh, now there's two of them. It's because that one was a fake. Dick. Good thing his attack is very easy to avoid. No, don't get... I don't know if actually getting drawn into it is a bad thing or not, but... Alright, so, fake. Not a fake. But I think they all can attack, so... Yeah. No! And now we have a lot of them. Luckily, only the real one does that sonic attack. Oh, well, apparently not. Ah. Uh, so, this one's the real one. And... Whoa, what the... Stop the controller's movement. Shake the controller up and down on the orange. I guess I just... This is a new one. I, it's been so long since I did this, I forget. So on this one, you're supposed to shake the controller when it is orange. And when it turns gray, you're supposed to stop. Or else it goes down. Man, it's been so long since I've been here, I completely forgot that this was a new one. And got him. Take that. Emits wide range sleep waves. So we can put enemies to sleep in a wide range. Alright, so we got two air ones. Oh. No, I don't want... Let's go see what this looks like, actually. That's actually pretty cool. Anything in here? Nope. How about in here? Nope. Or how about in here? All right then. So I guess this one was the only one that was open. Whoa, we have a door. That must mean a cutscene. Huh? Why here? Time to get drunk! Just kidding, it's time to talk to a ghost. Huh. Hey sweetie, where you been? I think it's about time we exchange numbers. Um, maybe not quite yet. Well, I'll just tell you mine. It's zero five. Has a woman named Lulu been here? What? Lulu? Nope, I can't seem to find anyone named Lulu, which means maybe she's still in your world. Is she alive? But I heard her voice. Perhaps she seeks help. Thanks for the tip. 
Hey, wait, don't you want my number? Dear God. See, see what I did there? See what I did there? Yeah. Can I talk to them? Nope. He's not alive when he's, you're actually in here. It's weird. So, we came all this way for nothing, apparently. Lo what is that? Kihihi, <laughs> no luck, eh? What on earth are you doing here, Ferdar- Ferdarig? <laughs> I'm a half-life. I can jump between worlds freely as a bird in flight. Now, Alan, just where do you think that Lulu is? What is the place in the village that no one dares go? What? Wait, you mean... Beneath the hinge? But there wasn't anyone down there. There is a way to open the dolmen. But I don't know what it is. Only Levain can tell you. Why Levain? Yeah, <laughs> I... Why I wonder. I can't go back to the village until I know how to open it. I need to venture further in and find Levain. little mouse. Look at fucking your fucking tiny little thing. The heck, I don't know. Anyway, let's venture further into the endless corridor. Oh, we have a strange looking person. Use the room for visiting the dead as you blah 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 blah. Not really big deal. Alright. So there's no save point here. This is nice. The room in this way contains a contraption of folk is the key. Find the flying book folk and absorb it first. If you succeed, the next door will appear. So I'm guessing I need... Ma Bino... Ma Bino Genie... Ah, what the fuck. Ma Bino Gian. Ma Bino Gian. I don't know. I'm just gonna call him Mabo. Mabo the book. Alright. Oh, I guess I need to catch the book. And then we have a bunch of... Rattata! They're suicide Rattata. And inside this, we have a door. More books. Come to me, book. Aha! Everything is a fake except for the book. Makes sense. Now, that that this puzzle might be a little bit harder if they wouldn't have told you exactly what to do. I'm just saying. They're bomb chews from Zelda. That's basically what those little freaking rat mice things are. Next one is another clock guy. Oh, this time we have a time limit. I didn't. Did we have a time limit before? I didn't notice. I didn't notice before. Alright, are you fake or are you real? You are real. So let's attack you like no one's business. You're fake. You're fake. And you're real. Alright. Alright, one more. Fakeness. Oh! Found the real one rather quick, didn't we? But all of those guys can attack too, so let's make sure we can absorb. Alright. Now at least I know what to do. So it's like... Shake, shake, shake. Oh, that was a dick move. And the time clock still goes. Ah. Oh. It's like Simon says, but on a timer. This is not good. 
Aw, oh, fucking dick. Alright. I, was, I, I wasn't wanting to go all that way and then not be able to get it. Hey, we have page 5, so this is going to tell us what the boss is. Alright, so we have... Catch the punch. Uh... Okay, this is very hard to understand. Let's see, we got a flying thing. It would shoot some kind of juice. And I don't know what that would be. Is that the fire flying thing? Or is it the water flying thing? And then we got a stone golem. That catches a punch. And then we have the... Uh time guy and then we have the slasher guy all right well in the next episode we're gonna figure out what all that meant we're gonna go do some things so and then until yeah that was a great ending bye